Well, this is my first visit here, and even in the rain, it's it's glorious and charming. And I I was really enchanted by how small it felt, and how uh, how I, I just intrinsically California. <laughs> It is. As a Californian, it's very, it's very comforting, and it's a little bit like, like coming home in that way. Um, but to see the spaces, I mean, as, as you said many times, the moment we step into the gazebo, we're going to have an idea of exactly what we need to do there. And that's precisely what happened. We stepped into the space and said, oh, this is the music that has to take place here, and this is the order in which it's going to happen, and here's the way we're going to use the space, and this is the experience we want people to have around us. To, to be making this music, to be able to do Appalachian Spring and early works of Boulez in a place where so much of this was birthed for the first time is really special for a group of young people. Well, we look at the relationship between the performer and the audience as, as important as the relationship between performer and performer, as important as the relationship between performer and composer. None, none of these things exist in a hierarchy. They all exist in an ecosystem in the way that ICE has always thought about our work. And so for this reason, we've decided to stage concerts on kayaks in Greenland and in skating rinks in suburban shopping malls in Virginia. And in the early days, in black box theaters and on rooftops and on the back of a pickup truck in the south side of Chicago. I mean, performance space is as, it's as porous and as, uh, as generous, we hope, as the definition of the ensemble itself. And so the relationship between the musician and the audience is something that's constantly evolving. We're constantly changing it up, mixing it up. And that, that seems to be very much a part of the ethos of this place, too. And that's super exciting for us. Well, ICE is a group of 32 creative misfits, I think you could say. Um, we're a bit like a contemporary music circus. Everybody wears many, many, many hats. And um, we started in, well, we were still in school uh, at Oberlin Conservatory in the late 90s. And I had this crazy idea my junior year that I would put together this band of all my favorite people who were playing in the contemporary music ensemble at the time. And so we embarked on this project and uh, had an amazing time. We did pack Warner Concert Hall. It was standing room only in April of 2000. And that was kind of the beginning of ICE. We didn't call it ICE at that point. We hadn't come up with the name yet. But that momentum and that energy and that fearlessness and the essential collaboration was there. And it was about a year and a half later when I graduated and I was on a Greyhound bus ride from Oberlin to Chicago <laughs> and about halfway through the bus ride around Gary, Indiana I was thinking about what am I going to do with my life and should I go to grad school and should I take orchestral auditions and I thought you know what the answer is right underneath my nose we've already done what I want to do for the rest of my life and we've done it in a small town so what would happen if we did it in Chicago in New York in LA in the Amazons of Brazil in dot, 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 dot. And so I got off the bus and basically decided, okay, I'm gonna start a nonprofit organization. We're gonna call it ICE. And the 15 members of that original project at Oberlin became the founding members of the group. So that was then, you know, a decade and a half ago. And we've grown from a little $500 startup to uh, a $1.5 million organization this year. And we do about 115 concerts around the world the wackiest site-specific performance we've ever done. Well, we did just a couple of months ago do a performance of a work by Alvin Lussier amongst glaciers in boats in Greenland. And there's a film of this that our wonderful percussionist and also resident filmmaker Ross Carr made that's on the ICE website. And it, it's, it's, it's truly beautiful. Um, I would say that that's one of the strangest, perhaps one of the most dangerous places that we've staged music recently. Um, we also did, uh, even more recently than that, uh, another Alvin Lussier performance uh, at the meeting of the two rivers in the Amazon region of northern Brazil um, that involved 
all kinds of <laughs> found objects and animals and we, 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 we continue mixing it up. Ice Lab is our laboratory for incubating and nurturing and bringing into being the way that we see the healthiest collaborative process taking shape, the work of our generation of composers. So the program came about about four years ago when we were really frustrated at the time with applying for single grants to fund single projects and having a panel of experts in the field adjudicate whether this single composer for this single project for this single concert um, met a certain standard of excellence and fundability. We said, you know what? We want to create work with a different kind of velocity, different kind of risk taking, and we'd like to make these decisions ourselves, and we'd also like to produce these concerts ourselves, and we'd like to fund everything ourselves, and we'd like to do this in the icy way, which is to look at all aspects of bringing a project to life as integrated education, performance, marketing, storytelling, documenting, sharing, all of it. The list goes on and on and on. And so we created our own laboratory within our laboratory called Ice Lab. And it's essentially a one-stop shop for us to do all of this and do it in collaboration with a rotating team of composers each year. We do the old stuff. We love the old stuff, including, you know, every now and then we dabble in Schubert and Beethoven and, and, uh, and all that good stuff. But the, the real driving force behind the ensemble is the music of our generation and by, particularly by artists who are working at the crossroads of different disciplines, different genres. Music that we don't know what to call yet. That's the music that I would say ICE quote unquote specializes in. Um, we're not interested in what we call it, we're interested in making it. And um, that's a lot of fun. <laughs>